What's going on, everyone? Steven here, back with episode 5 of my Elex Let's Hack tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up one hit kills with your enemies. Um, it's pretty simple with this game, actually. And so, I'm just going to get started here. Alright, let's find an enemy. Do away with these tiny rats. And there should be a huge rat down here. There he is. Okay, so now what we can do is, since we saw a health bar above him, um, his health is uh, instantiated, I guess you could say. It exists in memory somewhere. So, because we saw before that as the player, uh, the player health is a 4-byte value instead of a float, um, I'm going to assume the same of the enemy. So I'm going to start with an unknown initial value scan. All right, now we're going to hop in here and damage the enemy once. All right, and let's look for a decreased value. Okay, jump back in the game. Let's do unchanged scans. All right, so... His health hasn't changed at all, the enemy, so I'm just doing unchanged scans. Alright, now I'm going to damage him. And do decreased. Decreased. Okay, and now unchanged. Hop back in here. Do unchanged scans. Just keep doing that. Okay, we can assume, well, let's go unchanged again here. We saw some values changed. Look at all these zeros. Let's say bigger than zero, assuming the health is bigger than zero. All right, we're getting down to some pretty low results. Okay, unchanged. I'm going to go ahead and hit them one more time. All right, decreased. All right. And so we are left with these addresses here. All right, I suppose we can get in. We can say bigger than zero. All right, so one of these. These are probably floats, all right? And those could possibly be it. I'm assuming that with the health being where it is for the enemy, it's not going to be 100 or 50, like a nice round number like that. I'm thinking it's going to be one of these or perhaps this one. 15. All right, let's try setting this to like 50. Let's see what we see in here. Look at that. The enemy's health went up. All right, so that is the enemy's health right there. All right, that's cool. So now what we can do is let's let's set it to like 100 so that we can keep wailing away on the enemy. Right click and say find out what writes to this address. Okay. All right. Um, so we have this instruction here. So let's look at ESI. What's an ESI? Okay, RSI. 3C. All right, so 3C, that value is being moved into this memory address. So presumably that's the new enemy health value that's being moved into the memory address for health after it's been subtracted from, right? Um, so instead of moving a value, you know, of a lesser number, what if we could just move zero into here, all right? And the cool thing is that you don't have to necessarily do a code injection where you jump to memory that you allocate and do a bunch of stuff. You can look in your registers and see, okay, we know what we want to do. We want to put zero there. Do we see a zero anywhere? We see zero in RDX. We see zero in RBP and R8. So those aren't necessarily always going to be there, but they might. So you could start your cheat assuming that it's going to be there. So let's do that. Let's uh, hop in here, show disassembler. We're going to use RDX. All right. And we can go tools, auto assemble. All right. I am going to copy bytes opcode, enable, 
disable, paste this. All right, come here. And now what we can do is, instead of do, doing ESI, what do we say we're gonna do? Was it RDX? RDX, so we'll do EDX. RDX is the 64-bit register mnemonic. EDX is the 32-bit mnemonic. All right, so we're gonna do EDX instead of ESI. So let's copy this, paste it here. All right, and we'll do ESI when we disable. So when we enable it, we're gonna write zero into this memory address and presumably that will be for all enemies. So let's go file, assign to current cheat table. I'm gonna close that, close this. OHK for one hit kill. I'm going to stop and close that. All right, let's give this guy like that much health. Let's see what happens now when we hit it. Oh, I've actually got to enable the script. That'll probably help. All right. Here we go. All right, he's toast. Let's see if there's any more down here. Well, we were already one shot in those guys anyway. All right, so this is just a cutscene here, but anyway, so that's one hit kills. Any enemies that you run across, this works for. Any of the ones that I've run across so far. I haven't fought any major bosses or anything, but so there still might be certain types of enemies that this might not work for, but that's where testing your scripts really helps and comes into play. But anyway, just a quick and dirty way to show you how to set up one hit kills. Um, Go check out the other videos in the series if you haven't yet. I've got a bunch of them. Probably do a couple more here. Not sure on which subjects yet in particular. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with others if you think they might enjoy it or the series here. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will just see you all in the next video. Take care.